So our second match of the World Cup is Egypt up against Uruguay. Let's run through the starting level for Egypt. Ukarami is in goal. Gerba, Fathi, Olahamadi, Hegazi, Salah, that's I Salah, Said, Sohibi, Warada, Monson, and there's big bad boy Mo Salah leading the line. As for Uruguay, they start like this. Musiera in goal, Godan, Casieras, Piera, Piera again. Uh, maybe their brothers, Lodiero, Rios, Ramirez, Gonzalez, Suarez and Cavier. Cavani up front. And we get the second match of the World Cup uh, off to a start. And Egypt will get us underway. Here they are in their traditional red jerseys, white pants. And it goes out straight for a throw for Uruguay in an uh, unfamiliar yellow jersey. But uh, I rest assured you that was actually the default the default jersey. They didn't tweak. They didn't tweak their jersey. But anyway, I'll talk more about the, the tweaks and the twerks in a little bit. Let's just talk about some of the gameplay. Obviously, this is the second match of the World Cup. Second match in Group A. Uh, and if you haven't checked out the last one, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Ah, what the heck I will. It ended in a draw. Uh, so a win here for either side could put them in prime position for qualifying as Uruguay tried to build early doors. But I wouldn't write off Egypt, especially if Mo Salah's on form. Uh, as let's just talk a little bit more about the tweaking and the twerking. I did, like I said in the first video, I did tweak the the actual FIFA 95 game to bring it up to present day with present players and countries and participants. And I've created our own simulated World Cup. I'm going to try and simulate each and every World Cup game um, as it goes on. So we'll just do all the group stages, and then obviously when the real World Cup knockout phase comes out, we'll bring them board boys out, bad boys out. Um, as for attributes of players, I've tried with some players bring them up, but there was just so many. So uh, I've obviously tried to give a, a base, a base sort of attributes. But realistically, it doesn't it doesn't really matter unless they're completely dross, which um, they're not. Everyone's on a reasonable level, so expect some shocks as well as some uh, walkovers. And right now, Egypt holding their own. We do play two four minute halves, and Egypt trying to get the first real effort on goal. You might hear me take a sip of my drink every now and again because I'm doing a lot of commentary right here, right now, and it is thirsty work. Egypt now, battling in midfield. Big Mo, bad boy Mo Salah's involved. Can he get himself on the score sheet at this World Cup? And if you're watching this video, let me know what your thoughts on the impending World Cup. Uh, if you're an Egypt fan, if you're a Uruguay fan, what your what your thoughts and hopes and dreams for this World Cup? Obviously, you well, Uruguay have been there or thereabouts, and they've also won a couple of World Cups in their history. Um, I don't think. Oh my goodness, we have a goal, a belter, Egypt one nil in front here. Uh, which is against, well, I would say against them in a play, but against what you would think. And who's on the score sheet? Let's take a little sneak peek as it eventually comes up on the screen. It's big bad boy Mo Salah. He's got his goal, continues his run of form from his Liverpool uh, season into the World Cup. And Egypt take a, I would say, a deserved in the simulation, a deserved 1 0 lead. Um, but yeah, now Russia, I mean, Uruguay have got the bit between the teeth and they have to they have to get themselves back in this if they want to, you know, I, I, I'd expect they would want to win this game uh, and they would have uh, expected to win this game. But now Egypt are on it. A second goal will probably uh, give them all three points, I would say. As we are uh, midway through the first half, Uruguay now trying to build. They've got some big boys up front, Caviani and Suarez. But Egypt doing the business at the moment. But uh, like I said about the hopes and dreams of the of these countries, I think Egypt would, you know, I think their aim at the moment is just to get out of the group stages. They've got a, it's doable. I'd say it's definitely doable. Nice pass there could have been could have been, but uh, uh, Uruguay clean house. Uh, and I think I think it's it's wide open. I I think I would say Uruguay on paper would be the favourites for this group, but realistically even Saudi Arabia have got a chance they've got a chance if they if they can hold Russia like they did in the simulation and pick up a, a cheeky win maybe against Egypt and get four points uh, they'll be in the mix so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting uh, and it all depends on on Russia really you know with with the support behind them are they gonna do the business 
and, and run away with it. Um, if so, then I think Russia could be a surprise package and maybe make the quarterfinals. But let's not talk about Russia because they're not involved here today. Let's talk about Egypt and Uruguay. Obviously, Mo Salah's had a great bit of form and it's, it was party time around Cairo and the like when uh, Egypt made it into the to, to qualify. And that is just go, get rid of it. Get rid of it. They're, we're panic stations there for Egypt. And as Uruguay will take this corner, retro style, it's floated in there. Dealt with though, Egypt, cool as you like today. And we're going to nibble away. It's going to be half time, and they're going to have this 1 0 lead. Yeah, fair play. Into the second half now. Uruguay will get us underway with it all to do. Um, it's not over. If they lose this, it's not over. They obviously they've got two games, and they, I would expect them to beat Saudi Arabia. I'd expect them to give Russia a game, but this would give Egypt a right boost. Um, obviously, in the real world, I would expect, if I'm going to put my money on the line, I expect Uruguay and uh, Russia. I'd say Russia will qualify. That's a, that's a bold one, though. I think they could, could fall flat on my face. Um, like I said, Russia have, have, have not been great, even in friendlies, even in the Confederations Cup. They were woeful. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's... Have they got their crap together since then, 12 months on? Will, uh, will the country be behind them look like Brazil? You know they they were cracking hosts and they were they were, they, they were but they were cracking hosts but they were awful. That was that was Brazil's problem. You know even they they breezed through qualifying they'd never really got going and then they just got found out by uh, by Germany in in that mega game. Anyway look at this bit of play uh, as Egypt trying to get second. A lucky fortunate rebound there maybe can take advantage but no here come Uruguay. It's not over yet. They still got time to get an equalizer. An equalizer would be fair uh, fair result I would say. I'd say, but uh, well, maybe not. I don't think it's not. I don't think so. I think Egypt, right now, they deserve it. They've uh, obviously got the goal, and here they go. They're going to get a second. They're going to get a second. Oh, if that shot had gone away, I'm, I'm, I'm putting money on it. it. Would have been in the back of the net, and it's pushed out for a Uruguay throw. Time eating away on the clock. Look at the fans in there. Look at the retro fans and the nineties gear. Headed on. Uruguay now. Turn and shoot. Turn and shoot. He takes a shot, but. Keeper is like, come on, man. Is that the best you got? As we crawl towards six minutes, which means there's about 20 minutes left of the match. Egypt in nil. We're coming in front, and they're looking good here. This could be a second. It is. It is. Egypt 2 nil up. Oh, my days. That's three points. Yeah, yeah, and they ain't coming back. I don't see no comeback here. Well, well, well. Was it the big bad boy Mo once again? Did he get a double? It is. Mo Salah. When he's on fire, the boy's on fire. And he is on fire. Awesome. Egypt 2-0 up. That's going to cause some repercussions in this uh, little group. Um, upsetting the odds. You would think Uruguay had this. Right now, well, they, uh, as I say, if they got an equalizer or uh, a consolation goal right now, then it might, it might do some... Might make it a little bit of squeaky bum time. Slipped it in there. But Egypt have just been just been boss today. It's just, just been boss. They might get third at this rate. They might get look at this. Slips it in there. Yeah, dealt with though. Dealt with. Headed on. Come on. Make a game of it. Nope. Egypt. Looking for a third. Might get it. That was a cheeky wee effort down on the ground. Keep it calm though. Distributes it poorly. Barely makes halfway. But Uruguay get it back in midfield. Cheeky little pass. Can Uruguay get onto it? They do. Sets a man up, but he can't get to that ball. That's horrendous. Dealt with by Egypt. Looking for looking far the better side today. Over the top. Headed on. Yes. Chase is on. But, oh, he does get ahead of him. This is intense. Oh, distributed. Getting rid of it. Nicely defended there by Uruguay. So, 2 0. Mo Salah could be the man to stop at the store. Oh, what an effort! What an effort. That shot, great save. And Uruguay live. Uh, but there's only 30 odd seconds left to try and get themselves a goal. But that, with play like that, you deserve to get beat. Uruguay now. Just trying to do something. Maybe they will get one consolation goal. If he turns and shoots now, he'll have a go. Broken up. Uruguay. Again, they're just two sloppy errors. Cost them. Uh, look at that. Great defending by Egypt. 
I'd like to see how Egypt fare against Russia. If they win, if they get one more win, they're through. That's it's it's as simple as that. So they've, they've done the hard one, which is Uruguay. If they beat Saudi, then uh, yeah, they'll be through. As we reached eight minutes, come on, ref. There we go. Final whistle. Egypt two. You're right now. Take a look at the statistics. There you have it. 2-0 in black and white. Three shots for Egypt. None for Uruguay. One corner kick for Uruguay. And here are the goal scorers. Just the one man, Mo Salah. As for fouls, no fouls. No players booked. Awesome. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.